In this video, I'm gonna show you how to transform your camera into a webcam to use on your computer. The method I'm gonna show you uses a video capture card like this one here. So it has an HDMI input and it has a USB output. The equipment needed to transform your camera as a webcam is the following. Of course, the camera first, and it's very important to see the type of HDMI output that the camera has so that you can get a cable for it. So mine has a micro HDMI output, as you see here. The second thing is a video capture card. The USB cable that will connect the video capture card to your computer and the HDMI cable. And this one, as I said, my camera has a micro HDMI. So this is why I got a micro HDMI cable on one end and a full HDMI on the other end connector that goes into the video capture card. So this is a video capture card. It has an HDMI input and it has a USB output. You simply plug the HDMI cable in the HDMI input and you plug the USB cable into the USB output and here it is USB-C. It might be another type for you. And then you plug this end into your computer. So here they say it is compatible with USB 2.0, but I preferably will plug it in USB 3.0 so to avoid stuttering. And this card also can transmit video and audio, but my camera doesn't transmit audio. So I will be using an external microphone. Now you need to hook the HDMI cable into your camera. So it is hooked like this. And once you hook your HDMI cable into your camera, the output of the LCD screen of your camera will be transmitted through the video card here, the video capture card. So you will no longer see it here. So now let me connect this cable here to the USB 3.0 port of my computer. And it is connected. And of course, also you need the tripod to install on your camera. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for all this equipment, like this video capture card and a tripod that is not this one. This one, it happens that I have this one. So I'm gonna leave a link for another one that is bigger than this one. So you just hook it in your camera. Put the camera here. So now after you installed your camera physically, you need to put it in movie mode. So turn the dial to movie mode and you need to keep it in movie mode while you are using it as a webcam. And let me switch now to the screen recording and show you how it will work. So now the camera is connected to the computer with the video capture card. There are some settings that we need to do on the camera so that it will not turn off and then also the display will have a clean HDMI output. So let me open the Microsoft camera application and show you all this. I am using Windows 10 here. So this here by default is my webcam. So I'm gonna switch now to the video capture card by clicking this icon here. And when I turn on the camera, so when I turn on the camera, there are all these information here that need to be removed. And of course, also we need to adjust it so not to turn off like each minute if the power saver is on. So let me go to the menu of the camera. So I'm gonna go to the menu of the camera and it will be displayed here as you will see. This is here, I'm using the recording feature of the camera application in Windows 10. So this is the menu of the camera. Let me see first, we need to go to power saving under settings. Of course, it differs depending on which camera you're using. So this is a Canon M6 here, as I told you. In the power saving, go to it. And you see here the display of one minute, we need to change it and put it to the maximum. So the maximum is 30 minutes here and the auto power down also, I'm going to put it to disabled. So this way you can use the camera for 30 minutes before it turns off by itself. 
So each 29 minutes, you can depress the shutter button so it will not turn off. Another setting you need to adjust is the information display. So under camera here, you can go to, let me go to number one. And here you have something called shooting information display. And you can go to screen info toggle settings. And you can turn off all of these. What you need to do next is to go to record mode and make sure that movie auto exposure is on. And you see here now this information will disappear in a second. Another thing that I want to show you is that if your camera is autofocus, you'll see that a square will follow you everywhere and this square will remain on the screen. And in my Canon, I cannot remove it because it doesn't have a function called clean HDMI. So to remove it, simply I'm going to put it into manual focus. So if you put it into manual focus, and of course you need to adjust the focus ring if it is out of focus, like this. And you see now we have like a clean output and really the camera is displaying a good image of course this is a very good dslr camera the canon m6 and you'll have like a clean image maybe you noticed that the lighting is not optimal in my case here and this is simply because i didn't adjust the lighting this video is only to show you how to use a camera as a webcam and not how to adjust the lighting but nevertheless i'm gonna give you some tips here i have the window open so this is a natural light and this is why here it's very wide but you can put some lights. For instance, I have a light on my desk. If I turn it on, it will compensate a little bit here. So you can play with the lights just to get the best scene you can from what you have. Another thing that you can do also to enhance your experience is to replace the battery of the camera with a DC adapter that you can hook directly to the power. This way you don't have the limit of the battery and you don't have like to replace the battery each maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes, depending on how much battery your camera consumes. So this way you will not have the limit of the battery. Now that everything is set up, let me show you quickly how you can select your camera in your preferred video conferencing application. So here I'm using good old Skype. I'm gonna run Skype. And these steps also that I'm going to show you apply to other software. So just you need to know in the software where you choose your webcam and where you choose your microphone. So here in Skype, I'm going to click the three dots here, go to settings, select audio and video. And by default here, it took my webcam. So I'm going to here on the top right, click the drop down list and select USB video. So this is my camera here that I just set up. And as I told you, because my camera doesn't also transmit audio, I need to select the microphone. And here I'm using a Fifine K670 microphone. By the way, it's very good microphone. So just select it. And you see here the microphone is working and the video is working. So I hope this video will help you to use your camera as a webcam in your computer. Please leave me in the comments below your experience with this. And if you have other tips also, you're welcome to put them in the comments below. Until next time, thank you for watching. <music>